the deck here and I thought today I would pull apart what exactly is in the pack. So, the feature of the deck, of course, is the affirmations. These are hand-painted affirmations that I painted and wrote the affirmations on them. 100% my own design. They're a manifestation of characters I've been drawing for over five years. I've been really obsessed with the side of the face where it kind of goes like that. And at some point I drew this journal to process a heavy time with all these characters. And I did two of them and then I was like, you know what, I need to make this into a deck of cards because I love these characters and I, I want to explore exactly what they would look like if I painted them consistently and created a series of them. And the first part of the deck is essentially these characters and the go with them. I didn't want it to be lengthy affirmations because there's a lot like that out there already. I wanted them to be base affirmations that people could pick and then they could create more affirmations off that. So I release control is really simple, but what does I release control mean? It could be saying, I let go of the things I don't understand and embrace that which I currently understand. There's so many branches of this affirmation that you could have and you have this as your core starting point. They're really simple and easy to understand. The first part of the cards. The second part of the cards is the activities. After teaching for 10 years, I decided that there's a lot that I saw would work and it all included the arts because I'm an art and drama teacher. I designed the activities to be ones that relate to the arts. And on top of that, ones that can be used in a therapeutic session. When I say that, I mean ones that enhance your mental health, that have no pressure on the outcome, on what exactly it looks like at the end. These activities are not teach you how to do art or teach you how to do drama. It's more about enjoying that creative process of creating things and being creative. And then on top of that, you get to increase your focus, you get to improve your mental health, you get to feel amazing, to be honest. So there's five different types of activities because for me, I could see online, there was a lot of different resources available, but it would only be in one kind of medium. So there would be, for example, a sound healing one or an art therapy activity book, but there was nothing that kind of embodied all the arts. For me, a lover of everything creative, I wanted to explore what would a deck of cards look like if it covered all the arts because then that means that people can get a real taste of creative arts therapy. So in saying that, there's five different types. There's sound healing and you can see that little symbol there is like a little eye with the healing thing on it. Drama therapy, art therapy, sound therapy, very movement therapy, and play therapy. You're getting a deck of cards with different activities within those modalities. 48 activities, 48 affirmations, and then there's more. <laughs> I created these definition cards. Oh, I'm trying to find the last one. Why you gone missing? Sound. We've got five core types of therapy and then on the back is the definitions because a lot of people when they think of being creative they think of being skilled and they go I'm not creative but that's actually a really big misconception because everyone is creative whether you're skilled at art is different you can be a skilled artist but and that takes effort and years and years of training however you can be a creative artist. Everyone is a creative artist. Everyone is a actor, a creativity actor or whatever. When it comes to creativity, you don't really need much skills. For example, there was a study done on geniuses and the study was basically finding out how many geniuses we have in our population, right? So they interviewed kindergartners who have no skill and they found that 90, I think it was 98% of the kindergartners were classified as genius. And they're like, whoa, that's, that's crazy. How is that even possible? 
And then they continued on with that very same group. And as they were educated in the education system and everything, the numbers tremendously dropped to the point that when they were in high school, it was a very low percentage. I don't want to quote it because I forgot what that was saying, five or six percent. So then they just stopped doing the study because it was kind of clear that people lose their genius as they go through the education system. Kindergartens, they don't have much skill when it comes to art or drama or dance. They just exist, they're just creative. So that's why I put these definitions in there because this deck is not about the outcome, it's about the process of being creative. All right, so I got those definition cards. And then we have these cute cards. Yay! <laughs> these cards are based on the butterfly cycle. I call it Baba La La Fly, just because it's a little bit of fun. And the point of these cards is to be used as an identifying process. So if you're going through the affirmations and you don't know re really where to start, you can pick an affirmation, I embrace change, and then identify where on the cycle you are on that. So when I was traveling a lot, I feel like I embrace change really fast and I would be at a Baba La La Fly level. Flourishing, arrived, thriving, don't doubt it at all. Change doesn't bother me. But now that I've been living in the same place for a year and I'm a bit more grounded, I would say I'm, I've moved down to the Kakuna Nala stage, which is I'm growing, I'm in the process, cultivating, it's brewing, it's developing. On the back, there's little prompts like, yes, I'm working on that, or I'm actively developing the skills to become that. There's lots of resources on there to help you identify whether you're in that stage or not. And that, that can just be a really nice activity to go through the entire deck and identify on what stage of the butterfly cycle you're in. Just so you can be aware of your thought life and where you're at, and then you can pick a stage to work on. So those cards are really fun. And we have the journey guide. So this journey guide is freaking awesome. It's basically, you scan it for a digital journey guide on how to use the deck. I have lots of resources on different ways to use it for people, which is why I have made it digital. You get a full on guide on how to use the cards and different examples and activities that you can do. And on the back, it's just like my little welcome to the deck, which is fun. And then in this, deck I decided to have a special edition affirmation so it doesn't have the background and it's I nourish my soul and this is an act of kindness so the idea with this card is pass this card along as a thoughtful gesture part of the deck's values is kindness and not only loving yourself but learning how to follow, how to pass on the kindness so I included this so that you can give that to anyone who you feel might need it so there we have it. That's my deck. That's what's in it. The background and it. 